All right, so I want to be positive, though, okay? Because here's the positive thing about all of this. Po and positive words, right? Po positive. Look, I have that picture in my background. Aw. So positive words, right? I will say this. It's kind of exciting, though, doing this diet. There's something fun about it. Like, I feel like I'm learning my body. I almost wish I had nine months to do this. To figure it out like I almost need feel like I need more time six months was like oh my god that's so long but I almost feel like I need nine months because I I think when I get down to the three month mark is when I really need to but I feel like I'm almost there I started in March it was March to April April to May May to June yeah, so June would be, sometime in June would be three months. <laughs> and I've been doing the, I did like this one little um, three month thing, losing 6% of my body weight. Cool, already passed that. Then the next one is to get to 159, which, I mean, come on, I have to be able to get that. Like, yeah. So I've been learning about myself. Um, I could probably, I could probably do 1200 calories and cut out carbs, some more, cut out ca some more carbs. Um, the way that I work out though, I mean, I've been, this is probably the strongest I've ever felt and the heaviest I've been lifting. I, I, and I actually, I'm noticing my arms, like when I'm running in the mirror, when I'm at Orange Theory, I just, they're looking a little, uh, so I'm not gonna I'm gonna chill with the, with the arm stuff and just go lower lower weight and I might go higher reps or something like that, um, but like my butt my legs you know I could do heavy there. I'm just not sure with with the treadmill if I should just keep jogging. I don't really like to keep jogging or running or do the power walking like the high inclines. I don't know. I think I just I just mix it up. But with the food, it's kind of interesting trying to figure it out. I'm also trying to cook whatever we have in the pantry because, you know, just to save on um, money and not keep buying stuff. But I might just have to be like, you know what, screw it. I need to just buy what I need to buy for myself and eat the same things all the time. I might end up having to just do that. Just eat pretty much the same things all the time you know, have some variation, but no, I don't know. I know I'll get bored. I mean, I pretty much do sort of eat. I mean, I have an idea, like in the morning I was having oatmeal. Now I'm doing these like protein pancakes, which are very tasty. And I really don't need that maple syrup, but I just started doing it. And it's like, eh. um, But I could I could cut out that carb and just do some sort of, but again, my body was kind of rejecting that. I can't do two. I can't cut out carbs that much. So I'll just cut cut them out a little and see. This is supposed to be a positive video. I mean, I actually enjoy going to work out, and when I decide not to, I really have to. I really like check in with myself. Okay, because I remember yesterday I just felt really sleepy, and I noticed that when my alarm went off to go work out, I was like really sleepy. And so I realized, you know, I was like, okay, tomorrow I'm going to sleep in and just kind of chill in the morning and relax before I go to work. And so that's what I'm doing today. Um, I might go on more walks once we move. I might do that because I, I did think of like going on walks or something like when I get home from work, take an hour to do that. But that kind of takes up a lot of time. Then I'll have time to cook. This video was pointless. 